What did I say? I want to tell me. Tell me, look at here. Alaji, I, I, I want to offload for you for a fee. Offload? Yes, of of Bukaya? Yes, offload. <laughs> you know that killing me for love or life. Yeah, you can tell me, sir, I the offload for good motor lorry like this one. Okay, can I? Zach is okay. Only you in the show camp. Alaji, for just I will offload for you. Just for a fee. Offload, Bukaya? Alaji, please. I just want to offload for you so that you will pay me small money. Please. Okay, Yarina. for motor. Big lorry. You. Alaji, see. Please. Listen to me. My family depends on me for survival. Please. I just want to do it. And end small. Just give me this opportunity. Alaji, if you if I don't do it for two hours, don't pay me. Okay. Two hours they go of load big lorry, big motor like this one. You Allah just said do it. This there's nothing any man can do in this market that I cannot do. Try me. I don't finish. Ha! One trailer, six minutes before two hours. Okay. Wallahi, I make me proud of well, well. Thank you, Alaji. You try well, well. Thank you, Alaji. Sanugo? You see, I don't prepare. You know, today is Friday. I don't go to my masala I don't come out my cloth for work. This one, my cloth, I don't go to masala chi. Aha! You preach everything. Yes, Alaji. You are. Uh, you are. Your money is how much? Alaji, give me my money. Uh, Twenty-five thousand. Uh, Twenty-five thousand. Yes, Do you want to see the bill, bro? Yes, sir. 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 Yes, How much is a um, basket for me to go there? Basket there, yes, one, yes, one, um, the bushy that six thousand, six thousand. Hey, I want to buy one. 
6,000. One basket. I won't go sell them for village. One basket? Yes, At the chopper? I won't go sell them for village. At the seller? Yes, I like. You? Yes, I like. I blow them for the matter. Yes. You see boy, boy condo there? Yes. They just sell them, they do business. Yes, I like. I hear... You see one place where they offload the yam. Uh -huh. uh, they say now you get them. Ah, uh, me get them. Okay, Alaji, I want to upload the yam. You? Yes, Alaji. I upload the tomato. I will upload the yam, Kuma. Yes, Alaji. Can you go over? Alaji. You will show me the place. I will take. I will show you the place. Okay. You will you pay me how much for uploading yam? For most of Kabadia? Yes. Uh, we put a Latin. Thirty thousand naira. Alaji, let's go. You? Yes. Only you? I'm ready. I'm very okay. okay, okay Let's okay. go. So Thank I you. I don't chop. I'm okay, sir. I'm not hungry. No, no. Let's go. Go. Thank you. Going on. Four times in a few minutes. What has entered this compound with basket filled with tubers of yam? Where did she get those yams from? Or has she resorted to stealing from people's bag? Whose bag did she get that? Hey! Hold up your money! What is going on here? Where did you get those yams from? Oh, these yams, I, I bought them. Who gave you money? Hey. To buy yeah. I used my God given brain to work and make some money. So I raised capital to buy these yams. Capital? Yes, Auntie. Auntie, why are you asking me these questions? Eh? Ogona has decided to make herself useful. I have decided to start a new line of business. Please let me go inside. This 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 basin is too heavy. Oh, because and I still have more to offload. Dal. Okay, 
know that you don't disclose who will disclose it? Huh? Disclose what? Don't even try it. You marry a man a year ago. Let him back, let them complete their match. And the worst my own. My belly and I are in front. Waiting. When the match is done, I will, I will come back. Come. Come down. 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 Can't I said I should offload my own into the pot. Uh, he will cut open my belly and set them out by force. Can you imagine? So can't have threatened you into defecating into a pot and you actually did? Eh? A pot that I used to prepare food for, for, for everybody to eat? What is the meaning of this? Listen, even, even in your condition, you should you should know that your brother is a recuperating madman. You should, you should know what to do any time I'm not around now. Eh? What's the meaning of all this rubbish? This is the last head. Hi! Yeah, they are playing the mask, calling to attack the bus. Here. Right in. Make sure his own does not mean my own. Not a night for sleeping and snoring like a cow. Please sit up, let us talk. What is it? I am Rabas in the compound. Something worse than that is about to happen. In fact, it's already happening. Eh? Let us discuss on how to stop it. It's very important. So is it about your Encounter with my niece Ogonna, which you told me earlier in the day. Yes. Oh, Salome. Salome. There is no need for you or anybody on our side to get worked up over that. Eh? There is no need. Look. The night of food, love, care and affection by you and I and our friends and relatives all under our influence. What do you expect? The human survival instinct lives in everyone. She had to survive. Look out for my husband. Kogona is not only after survival. She is starting up a business. She said so to me. Salome. How is Ogonna starting petty trading? Eh? Enough reason for you and I to be awake far deep into this night. Eh? My husband. Ogonna is like the proverbial snake cut into two, whose wounded and angry head is more dangerous to people that wounded it than when it was intact more than before she needs to be properly checked every step of the way or or what or what <laughs> i'm gonna return to this compound with over 52 bars of yam and a basket full of fresh tomatoes if she can make such progress in just one day, just one move. <laughs> that means she is dangerous to our plan against her and her brother. 
do not underestimate an angry and determined woman. I see. I see. I think you have. I think you are making a point. Oh. Yeah. What do you suggest that we do? Good. Now, we have to... Once I secure a place in the market to display my yams, I will hand them over to one of the yam sellers to help me with the actual selling and then return for the tomatoes. Yes, because they are perishable in nature. I have to give them more time in the market. If the information I gathered last week while I was doing market survey is anything to go by, I will easily sell off the entire yams and tomatoes today and at a good profit too. With that, I wouldn't need to subject myself to the stressful job I did at Garrickin Market yesterday. I'll just go there, pay the boys to do the offloading for me, add whatever I make at the end of the day to the money I'll realize from selling these items and buy even more items to sell here in the village. God, please help me. Who did that? You are under arrest. For what? When we get to the station, you will know. Officer! Sir. Arrest her! Let's go. Wait! You can't just come into someone's compound and arrest a person. What did I do? Like I said, when we get to the station, you will know. Let's go! Please. Madam, please, I wouldn't like to use force on you. Let's go. Move! Move! How can you just come into somebody's let's house? Go, madam, let's go. You're playing your Officer, you haven't told me what I did. You haven't said anything. You're just keeping me here for nothing. Is that how you people do here? I said you have not told me what I Shut did. Shut up! This is a police station. And you're making noise. Start committing crime, you call me and start disturbing me with your noise. Who is making that noise? Who is disturbing the peace of this station? Sir, is this criminal that was brought here? Sir, it, it... Ah, Uncle, until you are here, please, can you talk to them? Tell them to release me. I have not done anything, and they should apologize for keeping me here. Apologize to you for being a yam and tomato thief, eh? or what? I am not a thief, Uncle, Auntie. Are both of you behind this? Why? Auntie Solomon, I told you where I got the yam from. I told you. told me not in Ogonna. You only said, if I don't mind my business, you are going to break my head and set the compound on fire. Me! It's not a crime. Threat of arson. It's a lie, sir. It's not you. Are a no, 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 no. They are lying. You are a criminal. I, 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 why? They are lying against me. Why, why are you doing this, Auntie Salome? You know the truth. Why are you saying I, 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 I threatened to do something to you? Officer, you have been criminal. Hmm? We have done our own as so you do yours. Remember uh, last discussion. It's all right. Have a nice day, sir. Right. Officer, please listen to me. I'm telling you the truth. It is me here, please. She just lied against me, and I don't know why. Eh? Please, those things I bought with my hard earned money. And they are perishables. Please let me go and sell them. The market will soon be in full swing. I need to sell them and make my money, please. Sergeant. Sir. Take her statement and do the need. Yes, sir. What is the need for? Give you a beautiful room in our cell. Now that you know, I beg, write statement here for you. Thank you, John.
Mama. <coughs> Sorry. Mama, see, to tell you people the truth, I am not happy. Eh? How can you be down to this extent that you could just uh, uh, hid it from me? Eh? Why are you enjoying it? No, my son, Collins. I wasn't enjoying it. Neither was your sister. Ha. It's just ordinary malaria. And it's not the first time either of us is having malaria. And um, the drug the local Mexima mixes for us usually takes care of it. Who was going to, I mean, who was to know that this case will be different? Yes, it is not as if we hid it from you. It's just that we felt it was what the little money we had with us could sort out up until I noticed that the drugs I got for her wasn't doing anything for her. She was okay last night too. Only for me to find out this morning that when she w went to the bathroom, she fainted. That was when I had to call you to inform you. Anyway, um, it's alright. You know, thank God now we now know what is wrong with you. And the drugs that um, will take care of it. Hmm? You have it here. Yeah, but Mama, you need to worry less. You know, having malaria and typhoid combined with high BP that be very dangerous to your health. Remember what the doctor said while he was pre prescribing these drugs? Yes. Eh? I understand the fact that we have a lot going on in this family. But Ogonna and myself, we are trying our best to change the story. Please. I'll try myself. I'll try. I'm talking about rising BP. I will need not write when I wake up every morning to see your uncle and the wife occupying my husband's <sighs> Enjoying his world while we are here. Mama, please. Uh -uh. You have endured for nine years. There's nothing you cannot endure anymore. You're talking as if today is the first time Uncle Lokaf and his wife are doing this, this kind of thing to you. It is not. They know that you've been ill for five days. They didn't do anything. They didn't come to ask you how far or how you're doing. Even when you passed out, I called for help. They didn't come out, but they heard me. So don't bother yourself. They will never change. There's no miracle that will make these people change. For nine years, it's not possible. You can't kill yourself over this matter. God will make a way for us. Amen. The same God that provided for Daddy and you will provide for us now. Amen. Please. My God will judge them. Amen. God will judge him. The God of the widow, the cripple, will judge you. No, it's okay. Hmm? It's all right. Just, just forget about uncle and auntie. Hmm? You know, I kept something away from you people, but um, I think it's best I say it now. Maybe it will help your mood. I'll be due for my settlement until next time. Hey! <laughs> yes, sir. It's your I'm telling you. Hey, thank God. My uncle said thank when he God. returns from his trip to China, he will say to me, and that is in hey. two weeks. Hey! Yes. Oh my God. Oh my God. So in two weeks' time, every suffering in this family will go and I will be the ogre of my <laughs> So worry less, Mama. Hmm? Serious business, so give me your car key. Be family. Where your phone? Where your phone? Bring down. Give me, give me, give me. Correct, I've been there. No look at our face, so where that money? You did there? Oh, yeah. No, no, no. Close, close. I said, bend down, bend down. No look us.
What happened? What happened? Eh? No, Collins, what happened? What happened? No, I am finished. Calm down, Collins. What happened now? I am dead. What happened? Calm down. Calm down. What happened? You left the shop earlier today and told me that our master sent you for an important errand. What happened? Why are you looking so devastated and talking like this? Eh? Calm down now. Calm down. I was robbed. So tell me, what are you talking about? What were you robbed of? I'm robbers took $50,000 belonging to Oga from me. $50,000? Collins, Collins, tell me you are joking, eh? You are not telling me that you were duped by fraudsters. Instead, you are telling me you were robbed by armed robbers. Eh? What happened? How did you come about such huge sum of money? Thanos, yeah. Before Oga traveled to China, uh -huh. he gave me some blank checks. Yes? And he told me that he, he was going to call me, yeah, and tell me how, how to go about it. Mm -hmm. You know, in case we have any business deal, then you tell me what to do. Yes. So Oga called me, and he said I should go to the bank and withdraw fifty thousand dollars. Okay. I, I went to the bank. You know, I wanted to take the equivalent, but they said they don't have naira. Mm -hmm. So I collected the money in dollars. Uh -huh. You understand? Yes. I, I decided to go and meet all these local labourers. Mm -hmm. hey, yes, hey. yes. You know, I went there, I changed the money, mm -hmm. and I was taking the money to the man who said I should go and meet. Uh -huh. When I'm robbers accosted me, just like that, they collected everything. God! And I'm telling you, God! God! Have you told God about this? I told him. He uh, nothing uh, happened. I called him. Uh -huh. And what did he say? He, he just said I should go back home and ended the call. Uh -huh. I am finished. How will I explain this to my mom and my sister? I, I, I don't know. Hey! Ho oh, ho. Oh God. Pick it, pick it. I should pick it. Uh, yes, pick it, I put on speaker. Just pick it, pick it, uh, pick it. Hello, Oga. Um, Oga, I'm, I'm very close to the house, in our street. Oh God, please, I am innocent. I, I can swear with anything you want me to swear. <laughs> See? Abba, you were just about to kill yourself. <laughs> just fine, it's fine now. Huh? Uh, I know, sir. Sir. I hope no goose was damaged this time by those of loaders. No, sir. Collins and I monitored them very strictly. Right. In fact, before he asked me to bring the car to you at the airport, two containers were already offloaded. Good. He was already recording everything when I left for the airport. That's good. Thank you, sir. Always a thoughtful boy, Collins. We are sure going to miss him for his dedication and diligence. I hope you've learned all you need to learn from him because in three days' time, I will settle him and he will leave. <laughs> yes, sir. I have. Good. Collins is someone who doesn't hide anything for, from people working under him. In fact, he treats all of us as if we are his blood brothers. <laughs> that is the secret to the sources. That is the secret to this success in my house. You see, that was what made Collins learn so much from me for the past five years plus. I hope you will be very good or better than him once he leaves in three days' time. Yes, sir. I will. <laughs> of course, I will. That's good. What? What is this, sir? Nothing, just mind your business. Uh, I don't say. Sir? Did um, uh, Collins travel to his uh, village while I was away? No, sir. I, I, I am not aware if I thought he did. Are you sure? Hello, this is Ikena, 
Yes, Ikena. Okay, Zia. Uh, this number sent me a text message and I wanted to... Lisa, so we thank God for joining me. Sit down. Tell me the truth. Did you travel to your village 11 days ago? Oh, you seemed shocked by the question. Why? Um, yes, I am. I'm shocked sir, because I never told anybody else. In other words, you traveled to your village since then, and you and I talk every day at least twice a day. And you never bother to mention it to me. Why? Um, sorry, sorry. That's okay, that's okay. That's what I need to know. Relax. Relax. Let's discuss about my business while I was away. Feel free. So I am confused. Because normally we discuss such things with the records of our business activities while you are away. Eh? Oh, oh, oh. Sorry, my bad. I forgot to tell you to bring them along when I called you. Huh? It doesn't matter. Just give me a general overview. And when the record is available, you can give me the blueprint. Huh? Alright. Um, actually, sir, we, 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 we had a... Uh... Oh, officers. That was very fast. This is the first suspect. Yeah. Okay. Arrest him. Do whatever you must to make him tell you where he kept my 50,000 US dollars. Take him away. You are a disappointment. You are a disappointment. Officer, try and understand, officer. Wait, wait, let me explain something to you. See, <laughs> Mama, Bokona, uh, please come and let me explain to these people that I'm not a thief. I have explained to you. This is my mom, my sister. I'm not a thief. I'm innocent. Colin, what are you talking about, officer? What's going on? Remove that thing from my son's hand. Remove it. What's going on? What is going on? Somebody say something. Why is he in cuffs? Eh? It is only rogues and hardened criminals that, 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 that wear handcuffs. Please take it off. Please, he's innocent. See, they know me very well. They can tell the number of hair on my head. Please, I have never stolen in my life. Trust me, please. Are you done with your drama? What drama? Officer, take this thing off now. Why are you so cool? Take this in handcuffs. You are gone, all right? Yes. You are under arrest for conspiring with your brother to steal his master $50,000. Me? Officer. With master. Ah, arrest her. With wait, 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 wait. Dollars. Ah. No, 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 Mama! 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 Oh, 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 shut up! Shut up and tell us the truth! Huh? Oh, what? Officer, oh, what? Officer, what? Officer, what kind of investigation is this? What kind of investigation is this one? I'm sure this is not what they told me the police academy. Shut up! Damn it! Damn it! Stop, 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 st
Tell me now. I, do, what, what, what else would you want us to tell you? The truth. We have told you everything since you arrested us. How can you be doing this to people? You you watch them, they, their mother die in their hands because of you. Yes. We are not the one that killed your mother, right? Heart attack killed your mother. Heart attack. <laughs> Whose activities gave her the heart attack? You just came to our house. She wasn't having the heart attack, right? It was you. Officer, my sister was in the village when they actually robbed me of this yes. money. My question is, how is she connected to the crime? Why are you torturing her? I'm the only person involved and you are doing your investigation. She has nothing to do with it. So, I'm trying to understand. She doesn't have anything to do with it. Oh, you think we are here beating about the bush for some kind of fun? Or you just because we are naturally wicked? Okay. Read the message someone sent to your girl on his way from the airport. Read it out. This. Your uncle, Mr. Okafo, a worm. Now, what have you to say about it? Hey. Okafo! Okafo! Where is Okafo and his wife? Okafo! Where is Okafo? Please, come outside. Called us. Yes. yes. Okafo. Despite our plea to take Grace Cops to the mortuary so that we can plan for her burial and have our children around to perform the dust to dust ritual for her. Yes. You refuse. And you insisted that she must be buried today. Why? Yes, I did. I did. And the reason is so simple. And you all know it. Ogonda and her younger brother Collins were arrested for armed robbery. In case you don't know, it is an offense that is punishable by death. And that means they will never ever return to a Kembe ever again but but if by the stroke of luck they do god forbid god forbid my dear god forbid mm. Mm. Hi. listen elders all of you all of you know my stand on grace presence in my family. And not even her death has changed that. No, that has It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. See my down, see my down, see my down. Elders, one demo. One these small boys. One them. Else. I will withdraw the consent I have given for this heap of rubbish to be buried in my father's compound. Huh? Please, please, my husband. I will do it though. Sir, Calm down. I will do it. Okafo, please calm down. We are not here for that. We're here to tell you that the grave is ready. Oh yes. So, does it require my presence or the presence of my wife that the grief is right? Go and bury her. Eh? Look, I showed you where to dig the grave. I provided the drinks. I 
according to tradition, to the great diggers and their supervisors. What have I not done? Eh? Go on. Wait, wait. Eh, look, I made it very clear that my wife and I will not perform the dust to dust ritual. I said it. I said it. I made it clear. Even at gunpoint, we will not do it. Wait. I hope you are not trying to tell us to carry her miserable corpse eh? to the grave. No. Hey, hey, hey. You will carry it. You will carry it. Man. You will carry it. No, 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 no. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Okafo, please mind your language. In our customs and tradition, respect for the dead is a must. Yes. The dead must be respected. Yes. So it is. <laughs> so it is. Well, we are not here for all this. We are here to tell you that the grave is ready. And where is the coffee? Now? Coffee? Coffee. Oh, you're making it. Oh, not coffee. Coffee, what? Yes, coffee. The dead are buried with coffee. Yes. Of course. Yes. Oh, have you forgotten that? My wife, my love. My partner, please, don't argue with this people. Don't. You want coffee, right? Yes. yes. Wait. wait. I will do everything. Just wait. <laughs> This is the coffin oh, for Greece. This is the coffin for Matt. Matt. Okafo. <laughs> this is Matt and not coffin. Oh, 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 oh. You understand me? This is Matt but not coffin. Hey, we need a coffin to bury Greece. Hey! Umunakwe. Yes, that's my name. My late grandparents were buried with Matt. Oh. Deeply wrapped. Mm -hmm. And I am sure that was the case with your late grandparents. Is it a lie? Uh. look. Tradition has made it clear that it is what one has that he brings for the burial of his loved one. I have provided what I have. As far as coffee is concerned, I have provided what I have. Nam, Imaga, you have tried. If you well like. done, my husband. Well done. Abu Nafacho, if you like, bury her. If you don't like, leave her here. But let me warn you if you leave her here, I will gather her corpse and take you to the village square where it will stay rotten and decompose. Okay, for your hey. wicked man. Can I use mouth? Hey! My wife, please, I'm tired. Let mm. us go inside. Let's go. We are a very wicked man.
I was in SS2 and my sister in SS1 in Layula Jesuit College. When the accident that killed my father and crippled my mother happened, my father was a businessman, a millionaire. We were just one happy family. We had hopes and dreams. Dreams to continue our studies in Harvard University. The tire busted and my father's car left the highway and got plunged into the valley. All our dreams and hopes ended just like that. My father's older brother, Uncle Nokafu, who at that time was managing one of my father's filling stations in a nearby, very close to the village. Everything my father had was actually handed over to him with a written agreement saying that he was going to manage them, pay for my mother's medical bills and see us through school. We had no choice. We agreed to that agreement because at that point my mother was still in the hospital. She was in coma and the doctor was not even giving us any sign of hope. The condition that lasted for Eight months. When she gained her consciousness, she was crippled of total memory loss that lasted for 17 months. While you guys were busy badly with the consequences, your uncle was was busy compounding your woes, saying that uh, your, your, your mother's marriage was illegitimate, that your mother's parents refused your mother bright price from the father. For that, your parents and look to just and give birth to you. After some years, they return and still do not determine their marriage. Your uncle capitalized on that and, and convinced the elders to make sure they deny your mother of your father's property. They even deny your mother's uh, 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 deny your mother the house in the village, branding you guys bastards. They refused to pay your school fees. He even went ahead to do, he was even thinking of driving people out of the house. He only stopped because being a male child, your tradition allows you to stay there, uh, but you cannot inherit your father's property until you are 10, uh, 28, and then you are just 17. Yes, he bribed uh, 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 your kinsmen, and those who couldn't bribe, he, he threatened them. He even gave the church a huge sum of amount to make them turn their back on him. So is that the story you, uh, you people are trying to tell me? I, I'm, I'm surprised you remember the nightmare we went through. But for the past three days that we've been here, all we could think of is well, he just decided to forget about us. Up until three days ago, who was responsible for your mother's upkeep, including yours? Me, when my late friend from your village brought Collins to me, begging me to, to train him and putting him in, 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 my, in my line of business, even brought your plot to me, which of the area of your needs as a family friend did I not meet? Tell me, hmm? did I ever complain? No. Did I ever ask for anything we talk on? No, and that is why we called you here to talk to you. I remember when you told our mother that you were going to take her as your own because you had lost your mother a few years back and you promised you were going to take care of her and, and do to her what you would have done to your mother. You lived up to your words to her and even us. But I don't know why you just decided to change. I, I don't know what we've done. We've not done anything. Why you decide to listen to somebody else and not us. We're your brother and your sister and you know what we can do. Just because of a text message, you're turning your back on us and you're, the reason this whole thing just, just led to our mother's death. How can you do that? We are innocent. Collins and I had no such discussion. You can't just base your argument on a text message. We're not thieves. We, 
There's no way we could have just had a hand in that. And it's for the not... first time since Collins has been staying with me, he left my house, go straight to the village to pick you guys a visit without telling me or any other of my boys. That was not the first time your mother was falling in. Why I'm why I was outside the country. Now, in all these cases, did I ever stop you to go to the village to carry mother out to the hospital? No. no. I never did. Did I ever complain the time you spent and my own money you spent? No. So why did you not have to sneak out this time? Hmm? And a few days after that, you get robbed of my 50,000 US dollars. Eh? And a few days to your own settlement. Uh, oh, God, no. Please answer this question. If you are two of you, if you are in my shoe and you receive such test, such test message from a, a Mr. Okafor, who will you believe? <laughs> this is not tears. Because if it is tears, I will show you more tears. Please, if you want peace, give me my 15,000 US dollars. And I will release you guys in the next minute. I will even go ahead to settle colleagues and give your, your, your mother a fitting barrier. But if you think that this is your Kodai emotional tears will blackmail me to forgive two of you to set you free, <laughs> that, that will land you in the prison in the next minute. Please don't know. Your uncle and his wife have agreed to testify against you. Hmm? Yes, so you don't know. Even the police they are processing your case. They are processing your case right, for the court appearance. Two of that. Two of you. <laughs> we know what we can do. We understand. We did not tell me my brother does not have a need, please. <laughs>
not why I'm here. I'm here just trying to deal with you guys. To deal? Yes. I discussed with the policemen and I have their consent. This is the deal. Two of you, go and beg your uncle. Beg him to release the document to smooth for that property. Dispose them and raise my money and I will release you and settle colleagues. Oh, now, I have a written document saying that I, I will not have access to my father's property until I am 28. Then, and right now, I am 26. Get your uncle to help you raise the money and pay me anyhow you can. Else, blame yourself and your uncle for whatever happens to you here in Scott. Not me. This is the best deal anybody in your condition can ever ask for. My colleague and I were shocked when we had it. In case you don't know, we are preparing to ask for the death sentence once the case goes to court. But with the alarming rate of violent crimes in the state and the governor's tough stand in such cases, you won't stand a chance. Trust me. Le Waonu, Le Wafayarin Squad. Officer, <clears throat> thank you for that. See, if they are set, hmm, take them to their uncle, eh, get the document. And when they are ready, when they have the document, call me. I will help them before buyers for the properties. If they refuse, make sure this case goes to court and count on me for any amount at all. I will spend it. Okay? I'm out of here. Wait, please. Do you? So I could that's why we're here. I I don't know where you're driving at. You said your Oga said he would drop all the charges against you. If you are able to raise and return the money that you stole from him. If you ask me, that is a very easy demand, especially for people that actually stole the money. Uncle, we're not thieves and you know that. No such discussion ever took place, like the one you sent in the text message to, 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 to his ogre. Are you trying to call him a, a liar? Eh? My dear, my dear. Allow her. She can call me anything she wants. It is not a problem. It does not remove anything from my body. No, it does not. After all, we are not uh, the people wearing what the police. <laughs> the police people we call Federal <laughs> Silver Bangle. <laughs> She's free to say whatever she wants. Um, I, I really don't understand um, what I have to do with this uh, deal that you have with your boss. Uncle, I swear with my life, I did not steal that money. You swear with your life? Do you have a life? Thief? Uncle, we had an agreement concerning my father's asset that you will hand everything over to me when I turn 28. Now I am 26. What it means is that we will be executed for a crime we did not commit if nothing is done. Please, this deal is like a miracle from God. Miracle? Miracle? How? Just now, Auntie said, I was asking me if I had a life. The answer is no. I do not have a life. We do not have a life unless the debacle that placed this corpse in our hands is removed at once. We lost our lives to the misfortune that killed our father, our mother, and now landed us in the police cell. Please, I beg of you. All we want from you is just to give us the document. 
packing up our father as assets so that we can dispose of them and raise money so that I can settle my ogre and we can have our freedom. Uncle, I beg you, if not for anything, for your brother's sake, your brother's sake, our father, please. Honey, can you make out anything from all that is saying here? Because I cannot. I only had an agreement, 28, 26, father's assets and documents. What agreement is he talking about? Did his poor father leave any asset that I don't know about? I don't know. I don't really know. That is why I said you should. I asked you if you can make out anything from what he said. Honey, I go and get these children. I ain't too big things. Talking about properties and assets, I know that your father died a poor man. He left nothing behind. How many times will I tell you? Your father did not leave anything behind. And then agreement. What agreement? <sighs> I did not enter into any agreement with anybody. Not to talk of your father. I did not. Oh, wait. <laughs> Officer. Officer. Um, did you people hit him so hard during interrogation? To justify this uh, madman ranting that he has been ranting since he came into this place about asset and uh, liability and property and what? Hey, Uncle, this is a joke, isn't it? You are pulling our legs, aren't you? Ogonna, I did not get close to you. Talk less of pulling your leg. Yeah? Officers. You see that gate? It is not locked. Hmm? I am going inside to take a nap. You see, I'm getting old. Let me go and rest. Oh. Let me go and take a nap. Okay. Auntie. Auntie. Please. You, you know what we are talking about now, eh? Please help us. The evidence is inside that box. My mother decided to hide those documents inside there because she foresaw that something like this might happen yeah. based on the way our uncle has been treating us. Sadly. Please, just go through it and you will see that what we're saying is the truth. Yes. Sir, please just check. And immediately you just see, you just go right away and arrest them. Enough is enough. Arrest them. See everything there. What are the documents? Inside the box. Officer, please check. Check, check, check where? Did you see anything? <sighs> the box is empty. Thank you for coming. fighting children. Barista, thank, thank you. Thank you, Barista. Thank you for coming. Yes, our elders. Our elders. Okay. Our elders. Yes. Please, we need you to save us. Mm -hmm. Save us from our own. Oh. He's taking everything that belongs to us. Now he wants to kill us. Yes. Eh? Tell him. Let him do what is right. For our parents' sake. Yes, that's it. My elders, please. please help us. Look, look at me. I'm no longer calling this again. Just look at me like my father and help us. Please talk to my uncle then. Talk to, talk to him. Is that why he invited us such urgency? The atmosphere looks so tense here. Okafo, what is wrong again? Let them talk. I think you can talk. Eh? 
It's like you went to learn a theater arts in, in the police. Yeah. Yeah? That's what you went to learn. So this, dramatizing. This is, like a, this, is a, this, is a, this is a drama to you, Abi. Yes, the drama to you, right? Help us. Please, show. Please stop this silly exchange and talk to Ross. Why did you invite us here? Was there any such agreement? Not at all. Oh. There was no agreement to that. Hey. There was no there was no any agreement, oh, man. You know, man. Uh, 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 yes. Both of you have nothing to say now. Please, please. Thank you for wasting our time. I bet you, you will pay for this when we get to the. Take them away. Officer, take them away. Move them. Please. I said, move them. Go. go. Oh. But you know everything, man. Oh, you know everything. Why are you punishing me? Why are you getting on stage? Why are you getting on stage? I swear I'm not going to do it. 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 I want to draw the case against them. You said what? You heard me. I want to drop the case against them. But under one condition. Condition? Yes. Look at what I'm doing. What's that? Stop here. <laughs> I don't know why, where you're coming from. That you're smelling like that. But whatever it is, it is good for you. Very good for you. The only thing I want to tell you is that you are no longer welcome in this country. Yes, sir. Yes. Mm. Meaning? Meaning that the work of charity that made us to accommodate you, a working bad luck like you, your miserable mother and your arm robber brother is over. So you go in there, pack, what, pack whatever that is yours, and leave. If you have anything worth packing, you know, eh? 